here's the main overview dashboard for the collector from various protocols like NetFlow, IPFIX, and SFlow. As you can see, there are various dashboards to see views on your flow traffic, which we will see a few in more depth in upcoming examples. Each dashboard has the ability to filter for specific information to dig into the details of your network. Let's start with an example. We'll create a filter on the SSH service to see all SSH-related traffic. Then, we can dig into SSH traffic where the connection was reset by clicking the RST view. To dig into the details further on all the SSH traffic, we'll select the Select Flow Records dashboard and see the filters remain. This will provide details and views on exactly which flow records have a reset event to understand what is happening in the network. Now, let's clear the filter to look at another use case around performance. Say users are reporting cases of slow internet traffic. How do you debug what is going on? Let's start with picking the device and interfaces facing the internet traffic. Then, we can jump to the top end and see the filters again carry over as we switch dashboards. We can then look at top talkers, top services, top apps, and top conversations. In the top talkers view, we can see one client is consuming all the bandwidth. If we look at that specific client, we can dig into the details to see the traffic is all flowing to Netflix. Apparently, someone is streaming movies, which is consuming all the bandwidth. Let's clear the filters again and look at another use case around core services. This would involve items like DNS, DHCP, RADIUS, LDAP, and NTP. Important services for sure. We can pick one like DNS to start looking what is going on and even dig into specific time ranges to isolate potential problems. As you can see, there are multiple ways to filter specific time periods from manually selecting windows in the UI to picking common time windows in the Easy drop-down menu.